Hello, this is Liz. Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Sorry it's been a while, you know, it's Thanksgiving week, spending time with family and whatnot. It's good times. And over the course of that week, I did complete uh, two puzzles, these two puzzles right here off screen. Wait, no, it was these two puzzles <laughs> off screen. Um, but you didn't really miss any story or anything, so it's not a huge deal. I'll just, I'll just get on with it. And here's a note right here. Ooh. I have read a message on a wall that speaks of a world of endless sand. I would like to make it far enough to see that. From the character at. Um, oop, there's some ones over here. Seek out those in this world that would help you. Though only one of us can transcend, we will all share in both the burden and in the rewards. From the character the shepherd. You've changed. From the character dog. Everything I do now, I do for those who come after me. Yet in doing so, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. From the shepherd. Hmm. Here, here we go. Trapped inside. And uh, we're getting a green one here. Um, hmm. So we got that. We got. Ooh. Interesting. Um. Huh. Weird. I guess I'll do that. Ooh, paradox. <laughs> Oh, that's, um, hmm, it's relatively simple. I'm gonna have to redo that, though, so that I can get the, uh, the thingy. Because that's gonna be a slight issue. I know! I know that I can do it. I just have to be, like... There we go. That was easy. Already, I'm almost gonna be able to get to Temple C, although that's that's far ahead of us right now. Cause I think this is like the last uh, level for uh, Temple Rat right now, Temple A. Hmm. Is there anything on the wall over here? No. Okay. Although that's mysterious over here. Look at this this canyon. <laughs> Lovely. Although I don't really uh, see anything of note besides the ocean. But I guess this is definitely like the last- because before uh, we noticed uh, the fact that you could see other islands, which are presumably the other levels. But from there, you couldn't see any, probably because we're kind of at the end of the line here. Pinhole windows. Ooh. These sigils are becoming harder to reach. I dread what the next temple holds in store. And at the end, what? Eternal life? That's got to be another way. There's got to be another way, I mean. Of the character sheep. Yeah, I think a lot of people realize that actual, like, eternal life doesn't sound that great. I think I uh, I haphazardly said something about that in like the first or second episode, but yeah, can you imagine actually existing forever, possibly like beyond the lifespans of the people you love, like beyond anything that interests you? You have the time, literally, because you have all the time in the world, you have the time to see everything, to complete everything that you could ever possibly do, and eventually you're just gonna have even more time, because you have all of the time. So. Uh, it's like, you're just going to end up being bored and despondent and wishing that you could die. Tad dark there, I apologize, but you know, it's the reality. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I can probably, uh... 
kill two birds with one stone here and do that. Although I have a feeling there's going to be issues because, yeah, look at this. There's blue light. There's a couple of things. Get those nice and safe out here. And there is the small issue of that. Mm. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, the balls. Okay. Eh, I, I might be onto something. I might be onto something. Okay. Okay. We got. We got this. We go like as far as we can. Is that good to go? Still, still, still good to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I still have any extra? No. Uh, balls. Okay. Huh. Ah. <laughs> well. That's kind of an issue. Um. Yeah, because I need to have, like, all of this space. I don't think I can even do it in one. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, you can, but it's, like, way the heck over here. Right. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really change the fact that that's still very thoroughly in the way. Oh dear. Um. I mean, it's not going to change the fact that this is like... I mean, eh... Like, that's still a thing, that's still an issue here. Oh, do I have any extra thingies? That would be helpful. <laughs> you can always use more thingies. Especially in this case. No. God damn it. How do you have this not in the way? It's it's a fucking inevitability. Okay. I think we need to rework this. Maybe the red needs to be on the super outside. S super outside, okay. being a little bit quiet. I apologize for that. I'm gonna make sure. Got maximum. Maximum righteousness, bro. I think I might be onto something here. I think I might be onto something. Let's see here. Can it be done?
Ugh. So now there's just one left. I'm gonna keep an eye out. Never know. Never know about those notes. They're about. They're always about. Two pesky little buzzers. Hmm. So, alright, we got one here. Little redirector. These things are everywhere now. There's... Oh, good. There's these things. There's red light here. There's... Ow. Hmm, they're already kind of offset because this one goes all the way over here and this one just kind of goes back and forth here. But it's probably still not going to be enough. Uh, yeah, it's probably still not going to be enough to, um, you know, do the thing. Oops. I have a feeling I'm onto something over here though. Yeah, because that one's way long enough that I'm able to get an opportunity to go through. Yeah, so I've got this cube. Useful. And I've got that. Hmm. What about the blue? There's blue over there, but there's not even any blue light in here. Yeah. I think the star must be in here. I don't see anything. The only issue here is I don't think this is gonna be instant. Oh god, it was enough! Yeah! Smart cookie. Smart cookie is me. Yeah. I'm not gonna have to do speedy uppy squeaky time. Although that was amusing. I kind of made myself laugh when I was like editing those videos. <laughs> uh, or that video, I mean. You know, that whole video, that entire thing. Uh. Did I read this? Uh, yeah, I think I had... Wait, did I? I had a full-blown conversation with the entity in the archive today. Can't say it was terribly helpful. Still, perhaps I can charm some information out of it further down the line. From the character Sheep. Okie dokie. I don't have any messages. That's fine. Rejoice, child, Ooh. for you have fulfilled all your tasks in this land. You have conquered all its guardians and solved all its mysteries. Ooh. Thus, you are appointed its master. Ah. And you may do with it as you will. Oh, cool. I'm the master. <laughs> yeah, boy. Of course, I do, I do kind of wonder, because... I'm pretty sure, like, there's stars in all of these places. I never got the star for the first level. Maybe it's something I can do. I can figure it out all by myself. I mean, it's the first level. I <laughs> have promised you eternal life. Huh. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. Oh. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Before the beginning of time. Um. 
Well, I don't know where the star is, but I guess you and I will go on a journey together. You can look at the secret passages. The secret secrets. Look here, there's Jeremy. Maybe there's a star somewhere in this level. Maybe I'll try and figure that out off screen. I honestly don't know. I look. What? Hello, paint. I just. Wow, okay. Um. Guess I'll. Uh. Um. I wanna. I wanna paint a message. I wanna. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, do you? I'm not the first one to undertake these trials. That much is clear. If you were reading this, then neither will I have been the last. The certification program is a sham. What does it know about humanity? It's been provided to us. You only need to learn how to use them. You'll be needing a special device to solve this one. I have heard all the Lady in the Light had to say. I can't help but feel we have lost so much more than we have attained. Have you tried crossing the laser beams? 
Uh, yeah, I've already done it. I have traveled this land extensively. It is the most beautiful. Sp this is the most beautiful spot. Am I going crazy? Or do they have a personality? Hmm. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this one. Alright. So. Yeah, if you're Steam friends with me, you'll probably see that if you play the game. Cool beans. Yeah, let's just forget about the stars for now. If I manage to get some in the future, that's cool. Maybe I'll come back and get the stars off screen, but then obviously I'll record, you know, that level I'll unlock if I get enough stars. Um, I also don't know what this is. It's a uh, spooky. Uh, but for now, let's just let's just get on with it. Wasted enough time. The only thing I really got to do was leave a message. So I guess I can. I can leave messages, um, even though I've already left messages. That's good to know. All right, goodbye, Temple A. Leaving you behind for now. Now the interesting thing is, I don't really think I already read this. Yeah, yeah, I already put that there. <laughs> well, past me did. Um, but the thing is, some of the messages that are left behind, the notes that are left next to each other, imply that there are people solving this at the same time as each other. Um, so maybe there's multiple programs running at the same time. But I haven't really... I mean, I've seen some, like... Uh, I've seen some, like, phantom people. You know, like little recordings or whatever. They're all shiny blue. That's kind of weird. Um... But now we're we're in the Egypt section. Yeah, this is the fan. Fan. And what is this? Play button. Weird. Okay. No, well, I don't think I'm really gonna find the answer to that yet. So this is normal. It looks like. It's just boxes and stuff. Uh, many notes. There's a note right here. I'm finally getting some sense out of the entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity, I am beginning to think this Elohim wields no more control over the world than we do. From the character Sheep. Hmm. All right, even more stuff. All right, Osiris one. Dying man went to the scribe and said, Behold, I am weak of body. My days under the holy sun of Amun Ra are coming to an end. Though I spend my years in service of the two lands, I have not studied the blank. Tell me, you who are wise in the writings of the dead, what lies? What will I face? What, I mean, what lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the Westerners? And the scribe spoke, saying, At the appointed time, it is likely the location, uh, blah, blah. Okay, these are footnotes. So, who a dying man is the avatar of the owner. Older manuscript. Blah, 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 The dead. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Got it? Lyrics. That sounds like a song. 24 million views. My new song with lyrics. Gotta laugh about this stuff. Laughter is the best medicine. LOL. Lyrics. I've got it, you've got it, he's got it, she's got it, mommy's got it, daddy's got it, baby's got it, granny's got it, lady's got it, fatty's got it, happy's got it, sappy's got it, of course, everybody, everybody's got it, come on. Jack's got it, Fred's got it, Bob's got it, dog's, dog is fine. Woof, 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 dancing dog. Everybody's, everybody's got it, except dog. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it, everybody's got it. Favorite ad to playlist. <laughs> so this is just like a YouTube video <laughs> without the YouTube video. Okay. Immortality. Disgruntlomeister's blogs to see episode two hundred and four. Uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. Yeah, I'm like trying to set a timer; it's not really working. Okay, that's good. All right, I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease. And I will be gone. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. 
I can't say I'm okay with it, or I've accepted it, or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. If I had a genie right now, I'd wish for immortality. Who wouldn't? Oh, but you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo-philosophers say. Pretentious drivel. Everybody wants to live forever. Maybe everybody deserves to live forever, too. But we can't. So here we are. Live with it. Or rather, don't. Interesting. Here we are! New level, new times. Uh, let's let's start by going to the right. We'll do this in a counterclockwise sort of fashion. Are there any notes? Gotta be on the lookout for notes. I know they're around. This is perfect situation for notes. All these like flat walls and stuff. What? Okay. Something about a star. Ooh. A star. Oh look! There's a star right there! I wonder if I can get that. That'd be nice. Of course, there's this thing. And that thing. It's kind of a party pooper. And this is red, which is... not ideal. Maybe I can block this with my body. Nope. Very insistent. Um... How the... How the fuck? Uh. Oh. I just have to be really patient. Yeah! Oh, now I'm trapped. I hear pooping! Oh, let me out. Okay. I hear booping. I'm not crazy. I hear it. I hear booping. Now the problem is, uh, this right here is a star, but, uh, can't really do anything about that. Maybe at some point I'll have access to lasers outside of my thingy, but I kinda doubt it. There's notes over there. They call to me. Alright, I'm breaking the pattern. Screw it. Besides, the other things are all up there, I think. We go over here, we read the notes. I made a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. From the character 8. I don't think we've seen that before. I have traveled to the edge of the known world. Though it seems to stretch on forever, our domain is much less than we imagined. From the character October. <laughs> Who I'm pretty sure is, um, is uh, Eric, one of my sister's friends. Uh, window through a door. Hmm. Well, it's up there. Hello. I have a feeling that's going to help me unlock the fan. But it remains to be seen. Um. Alright, we got. Oh, there's a note in there. They've given me ultimate motivation. I will get to that note, no matter what it takes. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Uh, is there anything over here? That would be convenient. Well, I could potentially get over here. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's let's try that. Let's give that a spin. Can it be done? I don't think so. Yeah, because I think it needs to be able to, like, go through there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um... Don't really, um, know how this is gonna go. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. And maybe, uh, with that. Yeah. You try for that first. We go for the room with the note. Let me in. Okay. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. From the character at. Huh. Huh. I need to... 
somehow, you know, using miracles, get over to there. Okay. Come on, come on. Hey, Jenny. Okay. I was just stupid, I think. Shit. Okay. Good. Great. Fantastic, even. Oh, come on. You know you want to. There you go. I did it. Um, maybe I can get that star, though. Because it's, like, across the way, and maybe I can, like, do a thing. Let's, let's check that out, everybody. Let's, let's test out this, uh, this theory here that I've got going on. Zoom! Zoom, zoom! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! 
Could it be? I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, I got a star. I got a star. I think I need uh, 10 total, so we're still a ways away, but you know. That's cool. Look at that. Good times. Um, is there like any notes over here? Because this seems like the sort of place might be hiding things. I don't see anything though. Yeah, oh well. Look, note. There are hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often? From the character Samsara. Uh, oh wait, there's a thing up there! Hey, spotted that. I uh, see you. Is there anything, um, see anything over there? But, aha! Uh -huh. Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna do it. This is my most difficult puzzle yet. Is figuring out how to jump over there. But I'll do it. I'll do it for you, my viewers. Alright, what do we got here? It's probably just more documents, but you know. Oh, Milton Library Assistant. Hello again. I've been checking your responses against library archives, and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what it, it what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? Uh a tree is alive. Good. Now what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? Um, uh, I guess if, yeah, frog is conscious would be that one. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? Um, I'm self-aware. Exactly. Checking user profile done. It seems you were on the right track more or less all along. Let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. One, a person must be rational or self-aware, and two, a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is to ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Yes. I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I am resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness, in your opinion? Um, well, I said the frog was conscious, so I can't really say it separates us from animals. Uh, consciousness is what it's like to be me. Consciousness is the feelings and senses. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. Um, I would say consciousness is the feelings and senses. That hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Um... Made of neurons. Uh, well, I'm a robot, so that would be getting me into trouble. That's beyond the laws of physics. I don't want to say that. It's another word for the soul. That seems too um, esoteric. A complex functional system seems about right. Interesting. Thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. All right. Peel. Uh, we got a couple documents here. Mutation! The role of mutation evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed, a piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, causing anything from minor problems to complete systems shutdown. In other words, death. But sometimes the new information is functional giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is, and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism blah, 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 blah. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. 
The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Capacity. EL capacity. Yeah, no worries. EL is not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion tons of space. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs, assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be, like, centuries. That should be enough, right? Right? Ugh. From Trev. So I think they're talking about, like, the thing we're in right now and its size and how long it can go on for. And, <laughs> oh, that poor guy. Yeah, it's already gone on for centuries, it seems like. Uh, evolution. Favorited by George Jameson. One of the common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to more and more Example in response to external threat or challenge. If an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them advantage. So over time, they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes. But each of them is part of the evolution of the species. Yeah, as a biology major, I would say, uh, yeah, that sounds all pretty correct right there, if I have to say so myself. Yeah, the purpose of ev- or if you could give evolution a purpose, isn't to create the strongest, smartest, fastest thing possible. It's just, you know, the continuation of the species. Anything that allows you to reproduce, even if you get stupider or slower or whatever, if it helps you to reproduce, then uh, it's advantageous. And that's all that matters. Over the fence. All right, I can do that. I can go over the fence. I want to not get trapped though. That would be ideal. <laughs> I would have done that too. I would have just trapped myself for no reason. Oop. Uh, take it? I would like to take it. There we go. Um. I can't help but notice. Oh. What? How the. What? Oh! Okay, I, that's how I got the jammer. Alright. Very simple puzzle. Uh huh. Third wheel. Hmm. There we got this one. So we got one connector. We got... So far we only got one connector. Uh, oop, there's more back there. Oop, we got two connector. Great! Two connector three. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah, we're gonna have another no crossing the beams thingy right here, right now. I can see. That's fine! You know? Who gives a shit, right? It's all fine. Everything's fine. Um. Hmm. Uh, let's, like, stay as far out of the way as possible. Because then we can get enough room. No, no, no. Everything is. Hey, okay, beans. Um. Yeah? Okay, that should be better. Wait. Did I just solve this? Dang, when did they get- <laughs> Maybe because I'm at the beginning of, um, the second temple and they're thinking maybe- Oh! I have all the things for fan! Hooray, fan! Um, maybe because they're thinking, like, uh, 
Bleh. Lost my thought process there. Oh yeah, because so thinking like, because you can unlock Temple B even when you're only like halfway through the first temple. Oop! Oh, there goes my timer. Ooh. So you still might be a little, a little new, new puppy going into this temple. So the first one is still gonna be easy. All right, let us unlock the fan. Uh, should be simple enough, right? How difficult could it be? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Spooky. Um. No. That? Yeah! I have unlocked Fan. Hello, Fan. I think that's what that other character was talking about when they were talking about floaty. Ah, yes, I made a block float. It was incredible. Oh, goodbye. Thank you for coming. Well, I think that'll do it for this session. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to more as we get on with this brand new temple full of Egyptianness. And I I look forward to seeing you in the next next time next video. Bye bye.